all players are doctors some doctors are actors so simple uh, statements in my view let's draw the basic diagram for this right so what's the basic diagram all players are doctors all the players are doctors all the players are doctors some doctors are actors some doctors are actors so all the players come inside doctors and some of the doctors are actors this is the overlapping between doctors and actors now look at the conclusion the first conclusion some doctors are players as well as actors now there's a new type of a conclusion right as well as actors so there are some doctors which are players and also actors is it true look at the diagram do you find any doctor which is both player and actor it is possible see it is possible to show that but is it always true no in the basic diagram itself it fails right conclusion number one i would say fails because it says some doctors are players as well as actors some doctors are players as well as actors here i don't find any doctor who is player as well as actor some i mean doctors are either players or actors there is not even one doctor which is i mean see for this to be true all the three circles should overlap but here only two circles are overlapping at any given in, in any given area right this can be true in such a diagram like for example it says uh, all players are doctors and some doctors are actors right so if i draw a diagram in this way let's say then this portion indicates that some doctors are players as well as actors you see the shaded region here is covered by actors it is covered by players it is covered by doctors so i can say this indicates that some doctors are players as well as actors but it is a possibility what is given here is a definite conclusion type is it true no in the basic diagram itself it has failed we don't even have to check the possible diagram let me tell you i am only explaining this so that you know what can be done but when you solve it in the exam just by looking at the basic diagram you can say this conclusion is false right if a conclusion fails in the basic diagram it is false you don't even have to go to the possible diagram right so some doctors are players as well as actors is false it is false all actors are doctors false from the basic diagram itself it is false he's saying all actors are doctors i can see only some actors are doctors not all of them are actors ha huh, it can be drawn in that way i can draw all actors are doctors it is possible but is it always true no so neither one nor two is true neither one nor two follows option 4 is the answer right option 4 is the answer so remember both of these are possible both the conclusions can be considered as possibilities but these are not definite some actors are players as well as actors some some doctors are players as well as actors is not definite it is only possible all actors are doctors is not definite it is only possible right so both the conclusions are wrong does not follow neither one nor two follows statement number 1 so what do we do we draw the basic diagram first right draw the basic diagram for the given statements no gem is diamonds no gem is diamond so gem gem and diamonds will not touch each other no gem is a diamond right these two are not going to overlap with each other and then the next uh, statement says some diamonds are rocks some diamonds are rocks so there's some overlapping between diamonds and rocks so no gem is a diamond these two do not touch each other and then some of the diamonds are rocks right some diamonds are rocks now look at the conclusions conclusion number 1 all gems are rocks all gems are rock in the basic diagram itself it fails because when you observe the basic diagram gems and rocks do not touch each other at all there is no overlapping between gems and rocks so how can you say all gems are rocks all gems are rocks is false definitely false second conclusion some gems are definitely not rocks some gems are definitely not rocks well understand this word definitely here is redundant whether the word is given or not it it won't change the meaning of the sentence some gems are definitely not rocks is as good as some gems are not rocks because by default a conclusion is supposed to be a definite conclusion unless possibility is mentioned in the question in the statement explicitly right you you understand when you say conclusion it is usually a definite conclusion without being very explicit about the word definite there suppose the same thing is given with the words possibility like some gems are not rocks is a possibility then it should be taken as possibility otherwise it is definite always so the point i am trying to that i am trying to make here is this is as similar as some gems are not rocks don't get confused with the word definitely here right all of you should understand the word definitely does not add any value to the statement it is only making it longer without the word definite also it is the same so basically the statement the conclusion is some gems are not rocks some gems are not rocks now look at the diagram yes you can say that some gems are not rocks some gems are not rocks some gems are not rocks it satisfies the basic diagram conclusion 1 failed in the basic diagram itself but conclusion 2 satisfies the basic diagram so can i take it as correct no just because it has satisfied the basic diagram does not mean that it is correct you have to check all the possible diagrams and i can think of a possible diagram let me draw a possible diagram for this one i can think of a possible diagram where even conclusion 2 will fail 
right let me show that to you possible diagram for example what does the statement say some uh, no gem is a diamond we have drawn it in this way no gem is a diamond gem and diamond no gem is a diamond right uh, then it says some diamonds are rocks can you draw rocks in this fashion some diamonds are rocks he said right some diamonds are rocks. you see some diamonds are rocks some diamonds are rocks in this possible diagram you find that all the gems have come inside rocks have we violated any of the statements no the statement said no gem is a diamond yes no gem is a diamond these two do not touch each other then second statement says some diamonds are rocks yes some diamonds are rocks i have not gone against any of the statement but i find that some gems are not rocks some gems are not rocks goes wrong here all the gems have become rocks all the gems are inside rocks when all the gems are inside rocks when all the gems are inside rocks can you say some gems are not rocks no so this also is wrong so conclusion one does not follow conclusion two also does not follow are able to follow conclusion one and conclusion two do not follow conclusion one failed in the basic diagram itself and conclusion two failed in the possible diagram it cleared the basic diagram but it failed in the possible diagram however now if you try and observe closely all gems are rocks and some gems are not rocks is a complementary pair remember there are two complementary pairs all gems are rocks and some gems are not rocks is one of those complementary pairs yes or no what are the complementary pairs very very important concept complementary pairs we have discussed this in detail in our videos right a complementary pair is what uh, all a's are b's all a's are b's and some a's are not b's if you look at the given conclusions they are in the form of all a's are b's and some a's are not b's all gems are rocks all a's are b's some gems are not forget about the word definite like i said makes no difference some gems are not rocks is like some a's are not b's so it actually is a complementary pair now will it really satisfy the complementary pair conditions let's check observe now we have one basic diagram and one possible diagram right so if i clear this writing part here what do you observe i mean right look at this just look at the two conclusions now right what do you find there is a possible diagram conclusion one in the in the basic diagram it fails but in the possible diagram it comes out to be true you see all gems are rocks basic diagram it fails all gems are rock fails but in the possible diagram all gems are rocks yes or no all gems are rocks so it failed in the basic diagram but it clears the possible diagram look at conclusion 2 some gems are not rocks in the basic diagram it cleared some gems are not rocks it cleared but in the possible diagram it fails because all the gems have become rocks it fails so if you observe conclusion 1 fails in the basic diagram but clears the possible diagram conclusion 2 clears the basic diagram but fails in the possible diagram so this is like a complementary pair either one of them will be correct in the basic diagram two is correct in the possible diagram one is correct and you draw any type of possible diagram you'll always find that one of these two will be correct both of them cannot be correct together both of them cannot be false together either one of them will always be correct that is the reason our final answer to this question should be either one or two follows either one or two follows remember independently the conclusions are false conclusion one is false conclusion two also is false but either one of them is always correct so option three either one or two follows is the correct answer and this is what is called a complementary pair this is what is called a complementary pair so don't be in a hurry when you're answering questions from syllogisms right when the conclusions fail independently check if there is a complementary pair in between them and try to you know verify that complementary pair so this is one complementary pair and again just for the sake of revision what is the other complementary pair some a's are b's and no a is b some a's are b's and no a is b is the other complementary pair so this is one pair and here's the other pair what we have in this question is the second one all right both of these are complementary pairs